it's it's fun and that's what this hobby's about it. oh gosh yeah and luca will see you in the next video absolutely it's probably about well 10 years ago i bought a sorry everyone <laughs> In fact, I, I loaned one of these to Rick Salvino when he's working on his Formula One car. And I said, yeah, it, can I get that back? No, you're not getting it back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a lot of hard work, isn't it? It is. It is. I had no idea. I wish you'd have told me. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. You wouldn't listen to me. You just, I was grabbing it. Yeah, I, I watched your build on that Mustang to, to see, see what kind of pitfalls were going to come in. So. You really haven't. No, that's what I thought. I'm getting it. <laughs> yeah, it's like a Ferrari. Um, is that a, what's that there? A Ferrari there? Or? Like, if you got a good eye, uh, you got an awesome eye. Ah. Uh, the 330. Oh, it looks good. It's my dog, white. You know, I could come in here and probably, you know, paint a body and go, oh, shit, I got fish eyes in this thing. Yeah, uh, you know what? I care about the old purple pond. Yeah. Drop it off into it, and I'll go and pull another kit, and I'll go, well, let's try this. Exactly. What is that like the fishing thing? Uh, uh, your worst day model building is, is better than your best day at work, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> so <laughs> true. That, that was something that when I started watching your videos, I really liked your personality. I mean, you don't know nothing about Ed Roth, so <laughs> if you really, I, at this point, it's time to, you know, back off, I think. But well, I'm ignorant. I'm just so that's ignorant. That's right. You're ignorant. <laughs> it, then you go Hollywood. <laughs> it's a good forum to do that, you know, yeah. and, you know to, and, and to talk models, you know, any oh. type of models. You know, I, I just like talking styrene, period. <laughs> yeah, we like it. We're addicted. Well, hello, my fellow car modelers. How are you doing this morning, this fine Saturday morning? Oh, boy. So, if you all haven't heard, we're all doing this kit, us uh, Unified Scale Automotive Content Creators. And, boy, there are a ton of them out there. So, just search YouTube, search uh, Facebook, Instagram for any automotive scale model content creators. And they might be building this. So, uh, keep up with us, man. There's going to be some cool stuff. But... You know, as I said on the 15th, I'm making a drag car out of this old raggedy old. I got to get rid of this box. It's time for this to get out of the stash. And, uh, well, it's 24 scale, okay? Now, let's say you're building one of these old monogram 24 scale Mopars, where it's this one or any of the other ones, but you want to go with a Hemi. We might have a problem with this being 24 scale because most of these kids didn't come with hemis what do we do where do you get a 24 scale hemi street hemi street hemi it's got to be a street hemi i'm going to tell you and i'm going to show you because i'm going to do it to this baby because this thing here's got a hemi i think got a hemi Let's just take out the essentials here. Uh, I'm going to be doing another video later, probably come up tomorrow on, I did find a car on the internet that is inspiring me. I totally got this down. I did state I am going to be doing a sublime green drag car, but I found exactly what I want to do. But the big issue we have is I definitely felt going drag racing Man, oh man, this baby needs a Hemi. Hey, that thing got a Hemi? You're about to find out. Uh, Mark, Mark Batson, Mr. Hobby Dude 007. Come on, jump in here, tell me. You, you agree with me, this thing needs a Hemi, doesn't it? A super detail, this engine, man. Without no wires. But the problem is, is pretty much all the Hemis available, a street Hemi, we have some race car hemis that are in 24 scale monogram put out you know drag cars and, and you know funny cars and stuff but those are big donovan you know things uh, uh you know f in the funny cars and the top fuel they, they that that wouldn't work that's that's a race engine only i'm talking a factory street hemi and pretty much every factory street hemi you know in kit form has been 25th scale but there was one kit one kit that monogram graced us with 
that had a hemi in it and oh boy it's the perfect hemi for this and it's pretty much any of these 24 scale monogram 71 kudas yeah this baby's got a hemi see that and it's 24 scale and I, how many of you ever thought about that man all the hemis out there in kit form and and check that out look at that glass it's nice man, this this kit's in nice shape i haven't opened this up in years but we're not going to really look at the kit right yet oh boy there's some cool stuff in here holy mackerel how 80s is that look at those freaking wheels anyways and you look down in here and here is the hemi we got the hemi valve covers but this is all 24 scale we got ourselves a hemi headed cuda yeah wow I gotta build me one of these. I haven't done this in a long time. But anyways, I'm getting, you know, it's tough for us modelers. We get sidetracked. Well, duh. Anyways, uh, but this is the kit. This is kit that's got our big Hemi in it. And uh, yeah, the, I, it, unless you can tell me, anybody, you know, if I'm wrong, please put it down in the comments below. I don't believe there was ever a 24 scale street Hemi ever done. Because when Monogram did this whole series of Mopars, they put 440s and and stuff. I think one kit might have had a 383, or not a 383, but a, a 360 or something in it, you know, small block. But the rest of them, you know, were, were the, the 440s, and this is the only one. And there's a couple of variations of this kit they, they put out over the years. This was the street machine, and then they had the stock you know 71 hemi then one that was put out that had was a purple one on the box you know later on in the years but pretty much any of those 71 kudas not the aar cuda one day we're going to talk about that debacle of a model when they tried to do a 70 cuda and it was it was that, that's a whole nother that's a whole 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 nother video we don't want to get into that so let's uh go ahead i happen to have one in my little tray drawers here sitting here that's from an old built up I pulled out that I am missing some of the parts to it but I always wanted to like make molds of this to have a 24 scale street Hemi you know um, so I kind of had this setting off the side to, to drop into the rubber one day maybe but uh, pretty much we can pretty much see how it fits in and motor mounts and everything it fits in these cars just fine they pretty much shared a lot of the same underpinning all the all the Mopar um, uh, monogram kits. let's just take this out they pretty much did I mean a little bit of a change is you got to change that where the trans mount is not pretty much not fits now look at that there's the motor mount the trans mount it's pretty freaking close but you can get that Hemi in this baby with very very little work you can shoehorn this thing right on in there there has been some discussions that uh, not a lot of people like that the interior thing there that this is horrible this is <laughs> just uh, very simplified I want to keep kind of a stock appearing and this I don't want to do too much mangling because you know the body is supported by this with the with the front subframe and I, I just don't want to get too far into Oiga vault right I'm gonna have enough cutting going on to get some get these meats right here which to fit in here so I'm gonna be I still haven't decided whether I'm gonna go for a whole fuck uh, back half or full on back half or just do do my cutting and pasting that I do. We're getting on the X. The X is coming along and um, we are going Hemi. I only got two of those CUDA kits. I hate to raid. Eh, out of heck with it. I'm going to raid. I'll raid a fresh one. This one's kind of beat and missing parts, but we will see. But that's it. There you go. There is a 24 scale from the Hemi headed CUDA.
That's an inside joke between Andy and I. He's laughing. He's probably in there. I'm, I'm not even putting this on correctly. There we go. The hemi head goes on like that. Yeah, this is a beat up old engine. I'm gonna take a fresh one out of the out of a kit. Yeah, there we go. I just can't. You know what? I'm being really selfish here. Let's just do a quick comparo to see the difference. Let me go get a 25th scaled Hemi, probably one of the more popular ones. You're watching the Lucas C channel on YouTube. Alrighty, we're back. I've grabbed two kits out of the stash and I have no idea if there's, if I rated the, the engines out of here. Good chance not. Hopefully I don't look like a fool. So we got this Ravel 25th scale GTX or yeah, it's a GTX, the Soxa Martin one. It has a Hemi in it. If I can flip around there. And I also grabbed this old thing, the AMT 69 Pro Street. It it has a Hemi. So we're gonna we're gonna take a look. Let's look at the Ravel first. Pretty much. And of course, yep. Simple Lucas C fashion. There's no Hemi in here. So there goes that idea. I don't think I have any Hemi in here. Ugh. Have no idea what I would have done with that one. So we can't compare with the Ravel at this moment. That's how I roll. Let's go ahead and look at this AMT GTX. Do we have a Hemi in here? Do we have the Hemi head? There we go. There's the Hemi heads. All right. We got the Hemi heads, and we got well, Hemi valve covers. I'm losing my mind. There's the Hemi heads. So let's just do a quick comparison. We already got a. Well, might as well pop that off. We already got the block hanging off. Um, I'm not ready to start popping stuff off this, but real quick, let's do a compare. Valve cover to valve cover. Look at the difference you're gonna have. From 25th scale to 24th scale. So we'll pretty much know engine blocked, engine block, engine blocked, engine block. Wow, I can't believe how much smaller it is. And pretty much you're going to find in the Ravel kits the same thing. 25th scale is 25th scale. Um, I'm too lazy to go run and try to pull out look at how big that head let's try that again let's try that again let's try that again boy holy mackerel let's flip it around like that nah that's not this is all all hideous can we can we get some sort of thing going that I can do this right Terrific. There we go, finally. Look at the size of the 24 scale head, the 25 scale head. So, there you go, right there. I think that's proof enough. I don't have to go dig out another Ravel kit. Why don't you look around in your stash and see what you think. What I think is, hey, there it is. I think that's about your only choice. You want a 24 scale street Hemi? You gotta find yourself one of those old monogram, and 71 Barracudas, either the Hemi Cuda or the Street Machine, if you find those. And that way, for you guys out there who are jumping in on this build, I'm sorry that I uh, just put you on another quest. <laughs> Please forgive me, my friends, if you're wanting to put a Hemi in your big old B body here. I'm afraid it's the only way you're going to get the right look because those 25th scale Hemis are just way too small. Hey, I hope this was a learning experience for you guys. Me, I gotta go get myself back outside into the old hot box resin casting factory and uh, make some more parts for you guys because, uh, well, we put some new stuff up at andyshhq.com. I showed it in that video yesterday and that, everything's gone already. You guys keep buying it. So I'm going to keep making it and I'm going to keep on getting it over to Andy's so we can get it out to you all. Hopefully I can get done with that fast enough and get that down to him. We can get it back up on the website so I can get home. I want to do some working tonight on the X. And we got some more videos coming for you on that. So 
What do we do here? We build model cars. Why? Because they're fun. Here's the producers. <laughs>